Welcome back everyone. Today I have a simple but super delicious chicken crockpot recipe. We're going to be making crockpot orange chicken. You're going to need four chicken breasts, low sodium soy sauce, orange marmalade, and sweet baby ray's honey barbecue sauce. You will also need salt, pepper, and garlic powder. You want to cut your chicken into bite-sized pieces and you're going to put this in your crock pot, just the chicken, on high for one and a half to two hours. Once your chicken has turned opaque and is mostly cooked through, you're going to take your lid off and we are going to remove the majority of the cooking liquid. You can remove all the chicken and strain it if you want. I just used a spoon and a small dish and I just used a cloth to hold my crock pot so I didn't burn my hand and I just scooped out what I could. This is how I typically make this and this works just fine and it saves on dishes. We are removing the cooking liquid so that it doesn't water down our orange chicken sauce. Once the liquid is removed, you can just discard it. Now we're going to put together the sauce. You want to add 3 quarters of a cup of orange marmalade. Any kind of orange marmalade will be fine. I'm using the Great Value brand. I like this one. It has a lot of orange rind pieces, which adds a lot to the flavor of the sauce. Next, we're going to add 2 tablespoons of reduced sodium soy sauce. And last, we're going to add 3 quarters of a cup of the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. I will tell you the first time I made this recipe, I questioned how orangey it was going to be, but I promise you all of these flavors meld together and it makes a delicious sauce. My kids love this when I make this for dinner. Then you want to add one teaspoon of garlic powder and you can omit this if you're not a big fan of garlic but I really like the depth that this adds to the sauce. We're also going to add three quarters to a teaspoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Then we're just going to give this a really good mix and incorporate all those ingredients and at this point, you will smell how good this is. All those flavors start to come together. And you're just going to leave your crock pot on high and cook this for another one and a half to two hours. I like to serve this with roasted broccoli. It's one of my kids' favorite vegetables. They call them little trees. So I just add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper, and I roast it at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. But you can serve this chicken with any type of vegetable. Some of our favorites are the frozen stir fry mix you can buy in the freezer section, carrots, or even just a salad. And then I also make white rice, just plain white rice, and that is how my family likes to eat this. So after it's cooked for about one and a half to two hours, you can tell when the sauce really comes together and starts to coat the chicken. You'll notice that the sauce is a little bit thin, so you're going to want to turn your crock pot off and let it sit for about 15-20 minutes, if you can wait that long, and the sauce will really thicken up. So like I said, we just served this on this night with some white rice, the roasted broccoli, and that chicken. And let me just tell you, this is one of my kids' favorites. We joke that my seven-year-old son is an orange chicken connoisseur, and he gave this one a two thumbs up. This is also an excellent freezer meal recipe. 
You can throw this together in minutes in a freezer Ziploc bag and throw it in your crock pot whenever you need a quick weeknight meal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a easy, pretty healthy recipe, great for any weeknight. And if you are new here, I would love for you to join my YouTube family and hit that red subscribe button. Make sure to leave me a comment below and say hello, and hopefully we will see you in the next one.